Here I will show you two ways to create quilted surfaces in Clo 3D using pressure and fill. And I'll also share how pressure works on structural elements. First, let's look at pressure. When you select a pattern, look into the property editor to find pressure. Positive values will make them float up. Negative values will make the pattern sink. Example one shows a rectangle that's 10 by 10 inches. I'll drag it up a bit and then right click clone under. It makes a copy with all the edges sewn. It's important to orient the pattern so you know which is on top and which is on the bottom. Set the pressure on the bottom to a negative value. Set the pressure on top to the same positive value. I'll reset here and make five internal lines spaced exactly two inches apart. Now, when you clone under, it also stitches all the internal lines too. Same theory of positive and negative values will produce a quilted effect. Here's the fill tool. Using the same starting square with internal lines, click the fill tool in the 2D window and click the pattern. A copy is made and place it under so you know which one is on top and on the bottom. Now remember that the distance of the internal lines is two inches. If you have different sizes, then measure the biggest space. Set your fill type and weight the amount you fill depends on the pattern. If you have a simple quilted pattern, then you can check on realistic quilting line. The differences in these two methods here doesn't seem like much. However, more complex patterns require using one or the other. In this example, I made a leaf with different internal lines. Patterns with complex internal line work are best used quilting as a filler. My largest distance between internal lines is two inches. The example on the right was done with pressure settings. It's not great because I needed the maximum pressure to inflate it and that wasn't enough. Plus, I had sewn it down to a frozen rectangle so it didn't fly away. Pressure will do that for certain objects that are not tethered to other frozen or still objects that are attached to the human. Here is an example where pressure works great. I use different pressure values to inflate this crinoline. The waistband is frozen and the top ring is set higher and the bottom ones are lower. You can see how I sort of inflated the crinoline by cranking up the pressure on top and then added pieces with lower pressure going down to weigh it down like ballasts on a hot air balloon. This puffer vest is a practical example of how the fill tool comes in handy.